Hi Gemini, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If this is your first time here, I hope you like and subscribe. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So if you have a bunch of Gemini in your chart, it might resonate. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna start right now and say that this is gonna be a doozy of a reading. I can feel it in my bones because the pre-message is very thick. And um, Gemini, you've been in my brain for a few days now. Like I was even considering skipping other signs to get to Gemini. Because I just kept thinking about like Gemini reading, Gemini reading, and it just dawned on me now. I'm like, maybe that's not even my energy. Maybe it's someone else's energy who has been dying to see the Gemini reading. So we're here. Um, if it resonates, make sure you're liking, subscribing. I greatly appreciate your support um, with gifts and donations at my cash app and Venmo in the description box. Told as love is a hustle for me. So your gifts, your donations, your support goes a very long way. As I build up Told as love towards a thousand subscribers and ironically right now I've been around 620, 621 which is the uh, first subscribers, which is the Gemini Cancer Cusp. Um, lit like literally the end of spring to summer, which is another part of my videos here, Gemini. So if you're born between June 17th and 20th, if you were the 23rd, you'd be a Cancer. But if you're born at the very end of Gemini season, you should try checking out my Gemini Cancer Cusp readings. You could find a message that might resonate for you there and I'd be really interested to know. I'm really interested to know people's sun, moon, risings in the, descript, uh, in the comments as well because this is for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Gemini in your chart, it might resonate. So I'm really intrigued to know if it's not your sun sign what sign is it and how does it resonate? Maybe you're cross-watching. Let me know if that resonates. <sighs> if you're new to the channel, new to tarot, new to astrology, you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say moon sign, rising sign, signs in your chart. If you want to go to my uh, Minutes with Meg collection videos, I have a video in there about... Um, what does it mean to look up your birth chart, to know your big three, and um, gives a little description and direction for you there so that you can then go watch a bunch of the other videos and find more messages that resonate for you. So it's a win-win for everybody. Thank you, Gemini. I'm in total Gemini mode right now, speaking so clearly and quickly. Woo! You're my first reading of the day. Like my eyes popped up and was like Gemini. Like I was thinking about Gemini last night. I've been like just in this zone right now. And the pre-messages and thoughts started flowing out of me. So <clears throat> there was a heavy emphasis on music kept popping into my head, Gemini. You may be a musical person or someone who's just like really into music, but I also get a feeling of <clears throat> there could be someone you're listening to music with or you go to music or like some, something about music. Because I heard um, and or was guided to <clears throat> at least three songs, I think. The first one was Jack Johnson, Better Together. Just started in my head. I can't sing it because I'm I got other songs the premise though that I'm thinking of even as I hum it along is like it's a very sweet love song it's not a I love you baby it's a everything's better when we're together like that's just as sweet you know what I mean maybe there's this these feelings or whatever of soft muted love almost oh um I started thinking to doing things differently on purpose 
um, changing up your plan, changing the plan maybe. I feel like someone's doing something differently when it comes to either work or love. This may be something currently happening right now or this could have gone on for a few months now because I ended up going down a real strong rabbit hole of when someone <clears throat> is having um, growth in their life, they're evolving. If you're into spirituality, it's like ascension symptoms. Um, you can read about it. <clears throat> when someone begins to do something or, <clears throat> excuse me, allergy season. How do I want to describe it? It's like when someone does what the universe has wants you to do or learn on your path and you're on the right path, you will start to have physical symptoms and you will start to have like these moments of like, um, feeling like outside your body, deja vu moments, fogginess. It could be, <clears throat> excuse me, like a time lapse. Like you can't believe it's that it's three weeks have passed. Like where have it gone? Where has it gone? Like this is also giving me like, um, again, like deja vu feelings of like, like this moment have you ever been like outside and you're like this moment right now looks like an October afternoon at like 10 o'clock in the morning even though it's like April 4th at five o'clock in the afternoon something like that but you get the feeling of like it's like a deja vu slash it's like I know what this is I know what time this is even though it's not that time or am I the only person who's weird and thinks like that <laughs> But someone having moments like that. Maybe you're going, you're like, you moved back home or you moved, uh, started seeing someone who you saw a while ago and it's like you're walking back into the past because like, it's like I've been here before. I've had this moment before. I've had this discussion. Like, I also think there is something about physical symptoms Someone could be literally throwing up and you don't know why you're throwing up. Um, some sort of pain in the body. Um, you can look these things up too. Don't take just that. Like, if you feel that this resonates with you, like, yeah, things have been kind of weird the past couple months. And like, yeah, I've noticed a shift in like... You know, I've put, I'm putting my foot down with a smile over here. I'm being firm, which is really opposite how I used to be. Like, and I've noticed all these other changes start to happen in my life as I'm doing a different approach here. <clears throat> Someone being more aggressive or passive, opposite, whatever it is. If someone's usually a hound dog and like they're an aggressive asshole, they're trying to like check themselves and have a more passive controlled response and the opposite if someone is usually passive submissive they are taking a more dominant approach stepping outside the norm someone who normally had been on a loop and wasn't even happy on that loop but this was this is where you were at before you you begin to have changes and then those changes the growing pains are part of your ascension and rising in life. Someone starts to get out of the loop, starts to do something differently. Their approach takes them out of this whole loop in life. There's traffic out there. There's not much I can do. But um, it's when you get off your loop, you start to do things differently. You take a different approach to something purposefully then you see bigger changes happening all around. And it's all because you are on the path and doing like exactly what the universe, God, whatever you believe in, wants you to be doing. There could be also letting go of connections and this feeling of like, I don't need to replace that person in my life. Um, you know, some people, I used to be like this, 
you have like five best friends, 10 acquaintances, and you're sharing the same update about yourself or gossip with like all of them. There's something here about like somewhat, this is either a recent or it's been going on. It's like you're letting go of connections with people who you used to maybe share all your details with, or maybe you were someone who would run to people and be like, what do you think about this? What do you, like you were constantly looking for feedback. I think someone's doing something differently. And um, that's in turn created like a smaller social circle for someone. Maybe someone who normally would have had a bigger social circle. It's like much smaller. And the last thing I wanna say here, and this is pretty specific, but um, something about seeing lots of animals or random signs of nature. Like you're walking down New York, Manhattan street and out of the freaking concrete is this beautiful rose bush that like does not belong there. And you're like, oh my God. And you're like taking pictures of it. And like, how did this get here? Like that is a little like wave from the universe. Seeing a beautiful bird, cardinal, something that you had never seen up close and it lands on the hood of your car. Something, I don't know. And you're in awe looking at this bit of nature right in front of you. Like this shouldn't happen. This isn't logical. This is, these are parts of like the from the universe coming in the forms of random um, sites of nature or animals, ne like wild animals. Okay, I'm still going with this. Um, I got a feeling of like someone who's really liking how they're feeling as they've gotten off this loop and are doing things differently with their approach. I'm getting something with someone's nervous system because once I realized I'd written down notes, um, I had some of the same, oh, my knee, my leg hurts. Some of the same like kind of messages, something about intrusive thoughts, anxiety, nervous, embarrassed. And I was thinking, well, this could be someone's um, nervous system almost. Um, I put like hot flash, someone could be having hot flashes, but it's like, it was like an embarrassed feeling, bashful almost. Um, I was led to the song, I Feel Like Summer by Childish Gambino. And like after I wrote it down and everything, I realized I'm like, well, Gemini happens. Technically, we are in spring. Gemini is spring. Cancer begins summer because the summer solstice is the 20th and 21st of June. So I was like led again towards this Gemini cancer cusp because I'm like, that's when it begins summer, even though like June, most people consider is summertime. But I, I'm feeling too, as I even think about this, someone could be feeling like, you know how you feel in your birthday month? You just, you feel like you're on top of the world and like, you're getting attention and like, um, I feel like that could be going on or that's just how you're feeling at least. Um, and then the last message here I have, and I will write down when the cards are beginning. Sometimes when someone really likes an individual or an idea, it worries them. And this is this is a reflection of that person's nervous system and them themselves. Um I don't know if like it's almost like the idea of something that you know you want, but would be, it would take work. You don't know if you can handle it, but you know, like that's the intrusive thoughts. This could be applying for a job. This could be doing a job. It's just like,
maybe someone's intrusive thoughts could be like really sabotaging them and holding them back. I'm getting this in like work and love. Someone being like, it's just their thoughts. Maybe that loop is your own thoughts and needing to get off that hamster wheel, Gemini. There's something too about being healthier, getting healthier. Someone could be um, like little things like eating uh, something and drinking water before coffee in the morning or walking, just like something about being healthier. Wow, that was a lot. We're gonna say at 16. Well, please let me know if that resonates, Gemini. There was a whole lot there. And let's see what we go, where we go. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well. We are in the Aries course cusp and um, it will be Gemini season before we know it. <clears throat> I hope you're having a happy April when I'm filming this and have a great Taurus season and Let's get it going. You saw the cards fall out. Narcissistic, first card. Well then. Stop dating for a bit, focus on the self. Move on. So the um, colors here are orange, red, and orange again. That's giving me fire sign. I care a lot about you, but I'm not in love with you. Samantha Jones energy. I feel like I've seen her out. It won't work. All right, I see Capricorn colors here too. I've never been in love is at the bottom of the deck. Platonic, man eater, femme fatale, which aligns with Samantha Jones. I really like you and who you are at your core being taken advantage of. Well, Gemini. Someone is dating with and it is dating or dealing with an individual who is so focused on themselves, so focused on their career. I'm being reminded now of scenes in Sex in the City with Samantha and Richard. She really liked him. She fell for him. Uh, I think he was older than her. But um, there was something about the, I'm hearing tenacity work ethic and like dominance that this individual brings and I want to say it could be male or female but this is heavily giving me Samantha I'm specifically being reminded of scenes of her with her hand on her hip so if there's someone who you have a memory of or if this is how you stand, it's something about someone with one hand on their hip and it's, 
it's a, almost like a power stance to show like attitude. I don't know how else to describe this. This is so funny. I'm really getting a feeling of like an affair that's like taking over and like Samantha tries to hold her own and not give a shit, but like at the end of it, it's like she's spending all this time with Richard and um, he's, he was very at first like, this is just business. This is just business, babe. And she, they act that way. And then it's like, she starts getting jealous seeing him being single with other women but at the same time I think um didn't Richard like like to see Samantha get all worked up but Richard was also sneaky Richard was banging and sleeping with different women while maintaining his main situationship with Samantha. I'm being reminded of the scene. You may go, someone may go gambling or like going to a casino or something. I'm just like, that when they're in New Jersey for Charlotte's birthday, not, yeah, Atlantic City is in New Jersey, right? And um, Richard has like flown out some of them. It's like he's got to be there for work. So they make it like a whole party for Charlotte's birthday. And when they um, get there, Samantha realizes that she's become like neurotic trying to catch him cheating on her. And he keeps saying that he's not. And then she's like going above and beyond to keep him sexually pleased because she's convinced he's going to cheat. And then <clears throat> the very end of this episode, and like a pearl thong for him, she has to run up the stairs and runs in his room. And she thinks she's going to catch him and she doesn't catch him. But she says, like, I love you, but I love me more. Oh, my God. I'm really brought right to this scene. I love you, but I love me more, and I can't do this. And it's because she recognizes that she's being driven crazy trying to catch him. Because her intuition and soul is telling her that he's doing it by the way that all these other women act around him. So when she finally says, like, I can't do this, I love you, but I love me more, and she leaves his room, as she's walking away, one of the people who she thought he was doing stuff with, the, it was a um, house cleaner. The house cleaner is walking towards the room, giving Samantha this attitude look, and like it implies that like Samantha was right all along. He was just really good at hiding it. She just never caught it, but she trusted her intuition and she recognized that she was being driven nuts trying to like catch this. That connects with the stop dating for a bit, focus on the self. I care a lot about you, but I'm not in love with you. I hear, I'm reading that now as I care a lot about you, but I'm in love with me. I do get the feeling, I, again, I wanna say there's definitely fire sign. Um, there could be like a seriously passionate like love affair is like popping in my head like 
I feel like someone may be giving off or gives off Samantha Jones energy and what I mean by that is like a strong individual who's like sexually free sexually open interested in meeting people has multiple partners possibly that doesn't mean that's the truth I'm saying that's the energy Samantha Jones energy someone is just maybe giving this off wow <clears throat> please let me know if that resonates I'm also getting a feeling of like someone could just be feeling on fire like I think this ties into like knowing self-worth and like telling certain people like that doesn't work for me that won't work for me I don't think someone's narc well narcissistic is here I don't know if you're dealing with a narcissistic person but I'm I'm also getting like I feel like that is tying into the view of like pe how people view you maybe Gemini how people are viewing this um, someone could be considered a narcissist like they there's a difference between self-love and uh, an empowered individual who um, I care a lot of, uh, a lot about you, but I love myself. Um, I may love you, but I love me more. There's a difference between self-love, self-worth, and a narcissistic individual. I don't want to go down like too much information of what that means, but... <clears throat> Narcissism, narcs, uh, it's rooted in trauma, sadness, unhappiness, insecurities within that person. Um, It's someone who's created this like mask for themselves to make up for how they feel on the inside. And maybe you are doing that. Maybe you are dealing with someone <clears throat> like that. I get this feeling of taking space from someone. Stop dating for a bit. Focus on the self. Maybe you were dating this person. I'm also getting a feeling of when Samantha and like every kind of <clears throat> relationship she started in in Sex and the City, which I like, I can't believe how often those cards come out considering there's only four freaking women and it's a huge ass deck. I really must have Sex and the City um, fans. I mean, I'm a fan, but. I'm also thinking like this could be because I have a lot of women who are of that age group that listen to this so that's interesting to me but didn't I say foot down with a smile it won't work as in green it's like green for go but telling someone no you're like maybe you're being polite I love you, but I love me more. Definitely an emphasis of wanting to focus on the self right now. I also just have to say, like, if there's some, if there's some connection here where you have been dating an individual, <clears throat> whatever that means to you maybe you've just been hooking up with this person but i do get there's some sort of like it's not um love it is what it is and what it is is sexual free fun so if someone were trying to 
I feel like you, someone is dealing with like a seriously a narcissistic individual because I've never been in love is at the bottom of the deck narcissistic is here and I care about you but I'm not in love with you and this may be why there's this need to stop and realize that it won't work because this person doesn't love anyone but themselves didn't I start to say that in the beginning this is an individual who's like wrapped up with themselves and you will and it will always need to be a Richard and Samantha going toe-to-toe -to -toe at the beginning she's got to assert her dominance and not let him treat her or talk to her in the way that he wanted to while at the same time there's this incredible sexual tension between the two of them because they're both strong, good-looking, dominant people. Maybe this really is a really fiery, passionate connection. I mean, Samantha and Richard couldn't keep their hands off each other. Like, was it, she was like, they were fooling around in his office that was full of windows. Like, she, she, they couldn't stop. Maybe it's some sort of connection like that. <clears throat> I do keep going to like someone dealing with a Richard. The man wanted to act like it was just business, but like they were always together, um, sleeping together, doing stuff together. And he's trying to act like, but the thing is, is Richard wanted to be seeing other women too. That was the problem right the emperor reverse didn't want to be the emperor didn't want to be tied down aries energy two of wands reversed knight of cups reversed this knight of cups has come up in every reading this week i swear so it's got to be like a like collectively a bunch of people in their feelings i've also been thinking like love is in the air with spring um I feel like this is with this two of wands reverse like it would normally look like she was giving her world or the world to someone it's in reverse and the knight of cups is in reverse because this aligns with what i'm saying with uh someone giving love to themselves they're not giving their love out to anybody they're not offering it to anybody the emperor reversed Queen of Pentacles reversed, the Fool reversed, Six of Cups. I'm heavily getting a feeling of like, um, I'll, I care about you, but I don't love you because I love me. I'm working on my world. I'm working on what I need to do for, for myself. I'm getting some sort of like emotional confusion here like someone not knowing what they want to do maybe you know someone would give you the world you know that there's someone here that you're that you would like to give your world to but like I, I'm really getting like um Being confused about what someone wants like maybe you're confused as to what they want or you're confused as to what you want this could be your boss I just want to put that out there the Emperor reversed this could be your boss or um, some sort of it could be a father figure it could be a partner Gemini can't, I saw the image. All right, I also saw, I'm starting to see like, 
there could be someone Gemini who like really cares about you and wants is like seeing things differently this didn't I start saying doing things different is like seeing things differently um, or has always had this feeling it's almost like they didn't know what it was and um right now it's at friendship level it's your only friends you may have known this person for a long time since you were a childhood there's definitely a strong friendship first like you could see you see this person as a friend first and foremost but i feel like there's um <clears throat> there's this desire for more I heard, I just heard like, I want to be your man, like some like R&B 90s song or something, like my man, like, um, five of pentacles reversed, and then the tower, Scorpio, Aries energy, but seeing a lot of Aries already, so you could have Aries in your chart, you could be dealing with an Aries. The sun, Leo energy, followed by justice, that's Libra energy, um, justice reverse, oh my goodness, followed by the strength, followed by the lovers, shit man, four of cups, holy shit, page of pentacles, the lovers reverse, strength is here, justice is here, and the sun. So double Leo, so you could be dealing with someone who definitely has Leo in their chart or you have Leo in your chart. Gemini, you, you are here. You could have Gemini in your chart, more Gemini or Libra, or you could be dealing with a Leo, a Libra, or a Gemini. Scorpio and Aries is here too. Someone has not told you. How strong your connection is. I feel like someone like lights up another person's life. Damn, I feel like I'm looking at someone getting out of their loop right here and taking a different direction. This is like something someone never ever considered could happen. This is someone change, like acknowledging that they'd been stuck in this unhappiness, this like depression maybe. There may have been some sort of loss, an ending. You could have lost a job, you could have had a breakup, a separation. This could have been just like realizing that you've been kind of stuck in this negative now I have to tell you that where I got this like loop thing from that I was like really focused on was a commercial for medication for mental health and um you know I I'm thinking like if someone realizes that they've kind of been like in a depression they've been in the blues in the dark for a while after something happened to them or was said to them it's like the tower is here because they've jumped off that loop they've recognized their um their broken heartedness and like recognizing like there's something wow gemini this is great my my brain is being blown right now I feel like someone has been like this healing power. Like I'm getting like my mind is going nuts. I'm getting like the ghosts <laughs> of Christmas past and present. Like the ghost of Christmas past. Looking back at some, maybe you're with a therapist or, or whatever, but like this is just someone that like you're you're talking about and looking back at things that happened <clears throat> looking at how sad and depressed or like whatever you've been this stuck maybe you had um 
this could have been loops for years, like five to 10 years, five to 10 months, five to 10 weeks, I don't know. But it's because of a heartache, it was because of a loss, it was because of, it could have been a financial loss, a personal loss, an ending of a marriage, uh, ending of a connection, something like someone's spirituality, someone's like church closing could really have affected them or whatnot. But I feel like there's someone here who helps you understand or like maybe you're the person that helps them understand Gemini. Like, don't, do you see how like you were, this was like this and, um, Someone is acknowledging it, acknowledging like, like I was keeping myself in that energy and this tower moment, normally the tower would have a thunderbolt of lightning on it. Very, very frightening, but this, the five of um, pentacles does here. And I still am getting like, these are two, like it would have been a shock. It's like this revelation, this is tying into my ascension and like move what the fuck moving ahead um evolving growing it's like part of that is realizing that the cause like your actions and keeping you in this um energy that was unhappy I feel like there's like sexual healing going on here. I don't know if it's um, like someone is showing you a different view of things or a different worlds. Like this is again tying into like changing, like changing the way things have been. Completely going about things differently because someone realizes the way that they've been going about things hasn't worked. And over here, now all these cards are kind of dark. I have all these happy cards, these strong, positive cards. Justice reversed is here and the lovers reversed is here with the strength and the sun. I feel like someone's trying to act all like, like tough, like firm, what? Foot down with a smile. They're trying to act like this doesn't mean as much to them as it does. They're trying to put on a strong front because what they would really love to do, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, is like make this a sure thing. Like if you're seeing multiple people, they wanna be the only person that you're like seeing. And this is, this is starting at Page of Pentacles. This isn't like a grand gesture. This isn't the Ace of Pentacles, but this is having a conversation or like realizing that if it is some sort of sexual connection that there's like the potential for more someone is a very healing loving energy to someone like this is a part of what i think is not being talked about or shared is like it's like the love and loyalty whether it's even friendship or like work related or love related like the loyalty can come in the form of you remember something that someone said three years ago and they're like oh shit i can't believe you actually took note of that um either you are you are being offered a whole new world or a no a, like a new world is being offered to you because i keep hearing aladdin's a whole new world in my head as she's holding this globe maybe you're considering moving Three of Wands, and I was just looking at the Four of Wands, and I also just mentioned the Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords is behind it. Three of, wow, Three of Pentacles. Temperance, that Sagittarius energy, Temperance reverse, Three of Swords reverse, Ace of Swords, and now the Queen of Swords reversed is here, five. I feel like someone really is thinking and considering about a significant offer here. If this is work related, it's like 
you may have like lost a job in a field or doing something some that um or like you left a, a job that you were doing that was like it hurt you to leave like it, it was sucking the life out of you maybe maybe you had your heart broken you were fired from that job that's happened to me and you found yourself back in like the same kind of position occupation same field and this time around it's like building way more it's like way more stable and it's like actually building towards something significant and someone is like at the precipice of having to consider like moving Gemini up or giving Gemini this offer like I want to like come up with an example it's like maybe for years you worked for a gym okay you were a trainer at this gym or whatever this is what your focus was on and you were let go from this gym or maybe you injured yourself because I'm looking at the cuts on her hands maybe you injured yourself and it's like your career in this is like over this is the tower moment having to realize like it's completely over this passion of yours that you thought would take you all over the world you thought would be part of your life forever you can't physically do it anymore but there's this different way to get it and that ties in with what I was saying doing things differently someone may be recognized like even though you can't physically do it anymore you have all the skills the foundation needed to manage other people um, and teach them other people how to do the same thing so now it's like taking what you um, know and getting it but in a different way I hope that makes sense You know, I am being reminded to right now, God damn, there must be someone who really wants to talk to you, Gemini. Or like, it, there is someone in your life who your conversations with this person, like it just flows like this because I am never, and it's not like I'm drinking high test coffee. I'm just everything wants to flow out of me. I'm being reminded right now, which ties into what I was saying of like deja vus a lot. I wanted, I had at some point this thought of, Gemini, someone wants to talk to you. Like they're, they want, they're looking forward to talk, to talking to you. They thought they were going to talk to you. So they want to talk to you. And I'm being reminded of that right now. I'm also, I feel like there, if there's multiple options in someone's life, there is one person that they like. There's one person who they are like waiting on to hear from and to see again. And this is part of like, this is, this is someone's tower moment is realizing like, I can't fucking wait to hear from Gemini again mother effer this is the be beginning foundations of something you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius I just think um If, even if this is like work related Gemini you have someone like you are like really considering um, a job offer or applying for something I'm also getting like you are really thinking about an offer um, I 
I don't even know what type of offer this would be, but what's really cute when I looked down at the Three of Wands, I thought, you're really thinking about giving an offer, whatever kind of offer it is, to someone that you can't wait to hear from or you can't wait to hear from again. I also get this feeling of like, feeling like completion of a cycle. Compl yeah, with this tower card and then the three of wands here. This whole, this little spread here starts with two of wands reverse and is like, well, it's not is like, it is. The three of wands upright is at the end. And this to me is some symbolizing like, kind of like the beginning of a, chapter and an end of a chapter um there's definitely there was some ending this could have been a relationship this could have been a marriage this could have been work related but like i get a feeling of like looking forward to what's next and who or what will come next if not already knowing who exactly it is that you're like waiting for. The Hierophant Reverse Taurus Energy. I feel like there's also something here about someone not doing something they were supposed to do. Could have been work related. Ten of Swords came flying out over the Five of Pentacles reversed. Emperor is now here upright. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. The Devil, Capricorn energy. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Two of Swords, the High Priestess, the Lovers again. Gemini, I think um, there's something here about um, literally could be juggling people. You could have like mo at least two options in love um, and you, you're someone's doing a damn good job to keep them all afloat, keep it all afloat. Um, and the funny feeling is it's like this feeling of like not wanting to invest in anything or anyone. This goes back to there's someone here who just like loves themselves first and foremost. This could be two jobs. Someone could be like, um, I don't want to say obsessed with money. I'm now looking at this differently. Someone is obsessed with where their money goes. They do not want to waste money. They've worked really hard for their money and they've seen money that they've worked hard for be taken from them. This is giving me right now like some sort of legal process. Like maybe a court had to get involved. Maybe this is like... um. This has given me like, if you have to pay child support, Gemini, or if somebody has to pay child support to you, it's like you wanna make, someone's wanting to make sure their money is well spent. Cause it's like, that's my hard earned money. So I wanna make sure you're doing something with our children with it. Mm. 
This is, I think, I'm realizing, this is part of someone's past. There's been a lot of Aries in this reading and Taurus is right here and I'm re realizing that Aries goes into Taurus. So this literally could be happening right now because that's what we're in, the Aries to Taurus cusp. That would be April 17th through the 23rd. Um, this is also giving me what I was saying, like some sort of split or separ separation between two people. Um, this, this is the past. Cause I think you guys have, have separated, have gone your separate ways. And, um, it's almost like, I don't want to say the pain is gone, but like, it's not like you can handle seeing this person. hanged one this one's been coming out like this too Pisces energy someone's doing something totally differently this is like so not you Gemini or this is so not them and it it's because they are seeing things differently going about things differently this could have been someone you split from in the past. This could be you currently in this connection where like the you've separated, it was over, like you can handle seeing each other and now you're seeing it differently and you're going about things differently. Um, I just heard keeping someone on their toes. Someone is going about things in a Samantha Jones unattached, I don't want any connection energy. That is very different for this person. They are normally someone who loves love. Two of Wands reversed again. Two of Pentacles now upright. Someone is either really definitely juggling multiple options or this is seriously a feeling of indecision. This is also, if you, this is Richard and Samantha, equal. They each can equally hold their own in a conversation. They each equally can hold their own in dominance and say what's going to happen next. Someone is like, maybe this is the different approach, having a firmer approach with what is and isn't going to happen. And I feel like there's these, um, there's this power dynamic that keeps going up and down. One person has like the upper hand and then the other person has the upper hand. And someone is, I'm gonna take that as confirmation. That was uh, my coffee maker. Three of swords reverse, 10 of pentacles, Seven of Swords, Three of Wands. I feel like um, this is so flipping weird. So flipping weird. Because I had already seen this, but, or thought this, but it's like two people who want to see each other, who want to be talking to each other, who want to be getting along, are purposefully not talking. She, like someone is like looking at their phone, waiting to see like when they'll get a text and then they don't. And then the text comes through this one text that says this and all of a sudden they've got this individual back waiting for what's gonna happen next because 
there's there's this loop of emotions too like maybe there's some codependency like going on here like codependent on the person's answer maybe this was the past but this is part of someone going about things differently this could be your oh my god I was just going to say your communication style. Your communication style could be totally different. Four of Pentacles. You are holding back. You are not. You are holding your cards very close to you, Gemini. Someone is. I'm really getting a strong feminine energy here. Who in the past would have just let it go. And shared all the communications. Right now, someone is holding back communication and in the process, stepping into this Empress energy, stepping into this, this, this is who the Emperor want, this is who the Emperor wants, male or female, this is who the Emperor wants, but she's made it clear and she is sticking to, she's not putting in any more communication or effort, like, that's got to be the emperor coming to coming to the empress. Someone is being very firm. Look at her hands. She's saying, did I stutter? This is what's happening. This is what I want. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Look at the blonde hair. That's Samantha Jones. That is Samantha Jones. Being very firm being very logical while looking good at the same time. I feel like this is something some, like, people in general, but someone really likes this about you, Gemini. Like, you're beautiful, giving orders. Or totally handsome, giving orders. There is some sort of like game going on here. And you may even know this, Gemini. You may have like, there's a game going on here. And someone who would normally just give everything is not doing that. They're holding on. This is looking for more music is popping into my head. Madonna's express, make him express himself is coming into my head right now. Make him express himself. If you want me, if you wanna come, when you're ready, come and get it. Nah, 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 nah. Selena Gomez now. This could be another air sign. I just feel like <coughs> this is really good conversation. But this is the game that two people are playing. King of Wands. Judgment reversed. Two of Cups. Ace of Swords. Strength. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. I also get a feeling here of like switched gender roles within a relationship. Like um, the feminine is the upper hands. Like this could have been the household you grew up in, Gemini. Like your mom wore the pants in the relationship. Your dad was more submissive. Um... This is, I think, the past person. If this is your past person or their past person, I really get this feeling of like, maybe this is the person that you can handle seeing now. 
but you're definitely separated from this person or you will be separated from this person again this could be someone you like you work with and you're going to be told that like you're going to be given this other opportunity this other um option i also get a feeling here of like some sort of quick communication coming in. This could be like a, what are you doing right now? Someone has to make a quick decision. There is no waiting, like what are you doing right now? The tower and the queen of pentacles reversed. So the tower has been here a couple times. It's Scorpio, Aries, Energy, Six of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, Reversed, and the Tower. So my first thought here was like someone realizing that they're not being valued or they're not being, um, or they have no value. Like maybe someone has like no money This could be someone who's acting like they're the boss, acting like the king or queen, and they're really not. <laughs> this is also giving me, like, someone could have been, like, kind of dropped. Like a hot potato, and, like, someone is communicating with another individual like this is like i'm leaving this connection and i'm over here talking to this person now it could be job i'm not giving my two weeks i'm already over here You know, if someone thinks they're getting away with something or walking away with something or playing the game, whatever the game is, again, it could be work-related. It doesn't have to be love. I feel like it's, if it's love, it's like they're only screwing themselves trying to play these tit-for-tat games because in the end, they feel more than they want to and that's what they're stepping into and that's what's going to fuck them all up. Page of Swords reversed. And then the Nine of Swords is over here, followed by the Justice upright. Now Libra, followed by the Two of Pentacles reversed. The Hanged Man reversed. I feel like someone's going to concede. This, If this isn't like quitting a job or like This is giving me, um, this may be like a short and sweet conversation, ending of a conversation, feeling like you're, there's a lot of things you wished you could say or want to say and you're not saying it, Gemini, or this is how they feel. Um, this is giving me flirty, feisty energy, Samantha Jones, like... Make sure you stare at me when you watch me walk away. Mm -hmm. Strutting herself if she walks away. I feel like um, 
if there's someone who's been indecisive and they it's like they it's it's very up in the air very like no expectations i feel like they start like someone's mind goes starts going crazy maybe not crazy but they start thinking about all the things they've wanted to say or would want to say and they're realizing <laughs> the truth of the matter is is they've made a decision the truth of the matter is the fact that they can't stop thinking about what they would want to say or would say is the truth and the truth is is that their mind has been made up and they are seeing something differently they are seeing someone differently they're seeing a situation differently i really feel like someone is fighting against like the tide right now because the ebb and flow of things right now it will have this moving in a forward mo movement like you're off a loop something is going to move forward but it's going to take someone really realizing the value the other person has brought to their life the healing love and light that someone has brought to them this could be the the love and light brought to a company the hanged one has been in my in reverse in a couple of my readings as well as the king of cups and i'm just making it's making me think like someone taking a different look at love realizing like queen of cups is here nine of um cups is here the four of pentacles is at the bottom with the grim reaper right around it followed by the, the three of pentacles and um the ten of wands knight of cups reversed seven of pentacles someone like all right this is giving me like you are going to get exactly what you're looking for but it might not look like what you thought you were looking for okay if you were looking f to move up in the company and you had your heart set on this and then bada bing bada boom you end up with a whole new job with a different company and it's an even better job than you could have imagined okay this is, I'm thinking the Queen of Cups, she's holding a cup right there. There could be someone who has children. Children could be involved. That could be you, Gemini. It could be them. But there's like one person has at least other individuals that they need to worry about, okay? I feel like there's this feminine energy again. This could be the Samantha Jones energy that... The cup that she brings on her card makes 10 of cups between these two cards. But someone does not want 10 or is afraid of 10 of cups because 10 of cups is emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, happiness, love. This goes back to what I was saying like when someone, sometimes when someone really likes an individual or an idea, it worries them because they're scared um, of being hurt, okay? Maybe this person has already gotten hurt in the past. This is also giving me con like <coughs> commitment issues. Like, excuse me, I could be here all the time, but we're not together, you know what I mean? Male or female. So here's this person who um, is like, I'm personally satisfied, I have me and mine, I'm able to eat, drink, and be merry. Nine of Cups, I'm personally satisfied because that's what the Nine of Cups means. You are happy you, it, and it's you with yourself and like your, um, 
emotional fulfillment, okay? The fact that that character has another person there, that's where I'm thinking like it could be just you and your family, um, your like your kids. And then there's this other individual, this loving, healing, feminine power. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, doesn't have to be, but this is the person who um, I think is going about things differently because together these are Ten of Cups and this is a happily ever after scene. But we're not gonna say it's Ten of Cups. We're gonna say it's the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups because if we only say it's the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups, then I don't have to feel worried about getting emotionally hurt. This is, I've said about about relationships like this before, people will say like, like we're not in a relationship, like, oh, we're not together. But it's like, but you are with each other. Your families know each other. Your friends know you guys are seeing each other. You guys may go out in public sometimes, but you spend a lot of time together, but you're not together, but you're not together. And I love wording it as like, if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck and it swims like a duck and its feathers look like a duck and it eats bread like a duck, it's probably a duck. Whether or not you want to say it's a nine of cups and a queen of cups, that's still a ten of cups. This is still emotional fulfillment. Someone, maybe both of y'all, are just freaking scared to acknowledge that this actually feels really good. That's for somebody out there. I don't even want to pull anymore. I don't want to even pull anymore. I feel like four of uh, pentacles here, three of pentacles behind it, ten of um, wands. It's like someone's scared to open up and release their heart, release and like put in the work. Maybe someone's just scared that it would be work, um, that relationships are work. So this is why we're just going to call it Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups. We're not going to say that this is an actual, substantial, legitimate offer that I'm thinking about um, giving you because me and mine really, it's building towards something. So I'm, I'm really getting, oh my God, didn't I say? Nervous, embarrassed, anxiety, intrusive thoughts. Someone is really scared of this. This could be back what I was saying, like, it's intrusive thoughts. What do, what do they call it? Uh, imposter syndrome too. Like, you may have all the qualifications for something and in your head you're telling yourself, oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, I'm not that. I'm not this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Like, I'm being reminded of... Um, taking a part-time position working in an inner city with um, inner city teenagers and I was nervous as all hell going there like the days building up to it me like spasm in my back because I'm so nervous when I was really overqualified for the position and it was like everything was all right but I just had in my head that this was not gonna go well when you get there and then you you start flowing and if you have the mind frame of like this can work this isn't scary at all this can work then it, everything ends up flowing and it ends up working out Ooh, gemini my brain hurts after this one um hour and 18 minutes thank you so much for your support i hope you uh stay happy healthy and well uh, my cash app and venmo are in the description again thank you so much i really do appreciate it um i know it's a hustle and to know that it's like appreciated and supported goes a long way um Gemini, please let me know in the comments if it resonates, how it resonates. Please check out the Gemini Cancer readings if you are born at the end of Gemini season and make sure you're checking out the other signs in your chart. I will talk to you soon and catch you on the flip. Have a good one, Gem.